Hey guys, Country Cuz here. Thanks for tuning in to my new channel, Hit Town Customs. Normally we do truck videos and car related videos. Today we're doing a Halloween video. Tis the season, guys, not for Christmas either. For Halloween. Now's the time you need to start preparing your yard for Halloween. To scare the kids, to hand out candy, just your general spooks. So the video today is how to make it. This guy is white and pale. I know skeletons are usually white and pale, but not very spooky. Now this guy, I have already put stain on and wiped it off, and it is totally different from this white one to this little guy. And you can achieve this look with stain. Not painting, not spray paint, spray, and it just looks terrible. And then you gotta sand off the paint that you don't want on. So the stain I prefer when I do my furniture is Minwax. Minwax penetrating oil-based stain. If you use water-based stain, if you're in a humidity different than Alabama, it's gonna dry fast, you're gonna cuss, 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 because he didn't tell you this stuff. Now, I can't get it off. But with oil base, it stays wetter longer. So, the stains that I prefer when I do this is, this is dark walnut, and I've already shaken and stirred these. This is red mahogany. I figured it would give it kind of a bloody look, but it really doesn't. But it still looks good. And you got ebony, which is black. So, all you do is you open the can. We're going to use dark walnut. We might go back over to highlight with the ebony. I'm going to make this a quick quick little video, hopefully. And uh, you'll watch it and enjoy it. And you'll subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And we will continue to go on. Anyway, <clears throat> you can buy these brushes at your Dollar General. This is called a chip brush. They're about a dollar or less, depending on where you buy it. Let me anchor my little dude down here. Alright, he's anchored. And all you want to do is you take your brush, dip it down in there. If you have previously used it and it's stiff, then just dip it down in the stain and kind of give it a press here and there. And that's it. And all you do is just brush it on. There's no rhyme or reason how to do this. And you might want to wear gloves. I don't have any gloves because I have lacquer thinner and it'll take stain off. You just wipe it on. There ain't no wrong way to do this. Get up here in the rib cage, you might have to stuff your brush up in there or grab you another brush. I got a smaller one here. Same thing applies. It's stiff. Just dip it in that oil. Give it a couple little presses. And go to town. Get up in here in the rib cage real good. Now there are stains you can buy in a spray can. Uh, I'm not sure if it's oil based or water based. But you can also get you a cheap paint gun from Harbor Freight, $9. Put this stain in the paint gun and spray it on. Same concept. Look how nasty it already looks. Looks like it's been in the grave or hanging outside in the tree or whatever the scenario for a long time. And you ain't got to leave this on long. Five minutes tops. Well, I say tops. You could probably leave it on longer, but it would be harder to get off. Get it all down in the little crevices. And let's get his head a little bit more. You're going to be amazed at this, guys, when I'm through. Because this is awesome. Grab his little hand. Put it up there. And always have a rag nearby to where you can wipe your hands off. Because like I said, 
after this, if you don't have gloves on, it's going to look like you were digging in the yard or maybe even digging somewhere where you wouldn't supposed to be digging. Like in your, well, I won't say that. <clears throat> Now's the time, guys, to start working on your yard for your decorations inside. Make sure you get them all good in the joints. I bought one at Lowe's, a big one back there, and uh, he's not staying very well. I may even dress him up a little bit. Get up under his chin here, and then you can see. We'll flip him over so we can get the back side of him. Turn over, buddy. Got me a little counterweight back here to hold him down while I'm brushing. You can already see where this is going. I mean, it, he looks nasty. And you can use any kind of cotton cloth, an old t-shirt, an old sock, whatever you got just lying around. If you have a shop or area where you like to work in, Chances are you've got a, an old rag somewhere. And you can do this with skulls. You can do it with, uh, they have those skeletons that are animals now, birds, whatever. You can do this on all of them. Getting good at two. Half, half, halfway done job. I mean, nobody does. Wipe it off on the camera. I've got a table under here. I'm going to lift this up, put this towel under here to absorb that extra runoff. This is so easy. And it's going to not take all that long if you have all the right stuff. It may take me a little bit longer because I'm trying to talk and explain to you guys what I'm doing. And look at me. I mean, he looks spooky now. Imagine what he's going to look like once we wipe all this junk off of him. You know, you might even want to leave him like that. Alright, so about five minutes have gone by. Sitting down. Just can't our weight back on him to where you can really grab him and wipe him off and stuff. All right, so, let me see here. Had another, there's another towel. So, all right, I'm gonna sit. It's easier to work with smaller towels. That's why I'm moving to this other one again. So, we're going to hold his head with this one, keep us from getting any on our hands. We're just going to start wiping off. You ain't even got to wipe it all off. The less you wipe off, the more spooky it's going to be. Because it's going to look dirty and dingy. Kind of blot at it. Now this little guy, we had him in a cage hanging inside our foyer inside our house and the cage all it was was made of two uh, laundry baskets that I spray painted black it's over there I wish I hadn't I took him out of it yet but I did so you ain't even got to really there ain't no right or wrong way to do this I know you want to kind of keep a lot of the stain in the eyes and the in the nose and the mouth area and spinning around back side sorry buddy a little rough weave hold his head again just kind of blot at him and this is plastic so 
It's gonna stain. all back in here how it just stuck all in the joints he's just nasty he's been out in the elements for some time a whole lot spookier than what we did have a little white that's it guys see your hand does get nasty but you know, it's not that bad. Now, if you're not uh, good at staining, then you may get a little messier. But get you some latex gloves from Dollar General or those dishwashing gloves from Dollar General. Here, we got a little bit of time. I'm going to put on some, I'm going to put my glasses on first. And I'm going to open this ebony up, and I may even highlight a little bit with ebony. And these are partial cans, guys, so I'm not mixing uh, ebony stain and dark walnut. Well, this one's pretty full, but I mean it's black. All colors make up black. Got a little bit of extra in the rib cage up here. black, I'm going to put some black on his head, ebony, I ain't even going to do much, just a little bit, and then we're just going to let it set for just a second, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, and we're going to kind of blot him off. You can see the difference that just the black made or the ebony. And it's very spooky. I kind of like that a little bit better than what I just did. Get down there in his eyes. Look there. That's from less than a few seconds. Changed it. All this running down, you can just kind of blot his chin. Wipe all this stuff off the back of his head. I mean, who's going to see the back of his head? All right. I love it. I love Halloween. Halloween's awesome. I think I like Halloween better than I like Christmas. Except for the gifts. I like the gifts. There you go. Put a little brush down, blot his head. I guess you could do this with a sponge. Some of you do-it-yourselfers that already know how to paint and blot and do crazy stuff. There you go. Look how nasty. Now, would you rather have that or would you rather have a white skeleton that's not very spooky? I say this. I like this. There you go. Spooky El Stucco. 
So, just to recap, oil based stain, guys. Oil based stain is the way to go. Penetrating oil based stain, even for wood. Uh, I just don't like the water based, any kind of water based product. But anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and next time I upload a video, which will probably be, probably be spooky here in the next couple months, uh, you'll get a notification, and you'll see how to do it yourself. Thanks, guys.